Yes, very surprised. It was a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. For lack of a better word, flabbergasted. <laughs> um, yeah, when I first started, I was definitely surprised. Didn't expect to pay that much for a single book. As a science major, it costs, they're really, really expensive. And they're worth almost nothing when you try to sell them back. Sometimes I don't, unless I know that a big project deals with that textbook. I only buy them if I really, really need the book. When I was a freshman, I did. I don't uh, sometimes because the prices are a little hefty. <laughs> if I had to buy them myself, I don't think I'd be able to afford like any of them. But I do just because my parents buy them for me. I've learned to kind of wait a week or two before I actually buy it. One hundred dollars? Uh, hundred and fifty dollars. Like almost two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars, I think. And that's part of the access code thing. Probably is close to three hundred dollars for a chemistry textbook. Three hundred and sixty dollars, yeah, for an access code. With my English class, I had to buy too many books and I ran out of money. It's made it difficult because it's one, you have the stress of getting the money to get the book for the class. I think college teaches you to be resourceful, so even if I didn't have it, I would look. I try really hard to get the notes from someone or at least like photocopy the book if I can't afford it. I like shop around a lot, like Chegg and Amazon. I try to get all my textbooks from online, like Amazon or Chegg. Uh, well, I don't buy them. Uh, let's see. I'll try to look it up on the internet or Amazon. I get them from Amazon. I go on Amazon. Um, usually I'll reach out to friends, especially within my major, if they've had the book in the past, and maybe borrow it from them, or go online to um, websites and just see if they have it cheaper.